All right, we're going to do the un unboxing of the Isla Bikes Vine 24. You can see here uh, my neighbor was able to get this box in the house for me. It's uh, supposed to weigh 29 pounds as boxed. Well packaged. Ouch, I'm upside down and getting hurt. Please turn me over. This way up. Do not lay flat. All right, let's try to carry it downstairs the proper way. Get our hands in the cutouts. Seems pretty well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's light. Watch it, puppies. We'll take her downstairs where the little girl won't see it. If it's a gift, we advise you to unpack and prepare it a few days before the occasion to ensure everything is to your satisfaction. That's what I am going to do. So Let's get the bike downstairs, dog. You're going to stay up here. Take it down to the man cave. Oh, we got a little bit of space, maybe. Mom and Dad ride recumbents. They don't make decent recumbents for little kids. So this is what we've got. Back to the unboxing. Tape. Maybe we'll have staples. We'll find out, I guess. Alright. Owner's manual. Please take time to read this manual and the separate attachment. Do I look like the kind of person who reads? We'll set that aside for now. And there it is. Very pretty. I have to save this box when we ship the thing for overseas travel, maybe. So we've got some extra bits here. What we got? Open carefully. Ah, look at that. They even sent us some nice metric hex keys. Some lightweight pedals. Alright. Saddle. Front wheel. Frame. Ooh, guarded by a cardboard tube. Everything seems pretty nicely packed. Box is not squished. They've got nice little bumpers on the side. I might find a way to keep those on there for the first few crashes. All right. And I don't even need to straighten the handlebars. It's already done. Nice loud little bell. Short little cranks. A little block there. Wow. That thing is about as ready to go as you're going to get. We'll start by putting on the front wheel here. Quick release is covered with this cardboard so it doesn't get scratched up. Very nice. Open close. All right. If not secured correctly. Yeah, that is the truth. Luckily, I've been building bikes a while as evidenced by those monstrosities over there. So I think I can get this done the right way. Presta valves for these even. So, huh, that block is held on with a nice super long rubber band. Take her out. Do we have a quick release here? I'm going to assume we do. Of course we do. They think of everything at Isla Bikes. Excellent. This. There you go. And maybe we can get this mostly on before I take this cap off. It looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of twisting. Let's pull that cap and get her gone. Now, this is an aluminum frame bike. It's 
supposed to be 19 pounds feels about right it is very light so get this quick release tightened up a little bit more some lawyer lips on there probably good for a kid's bike and we'll go just a little tighter than that all right and that is good all right the brake back on the boot over and now front brake how are we doing there a little rubbing we'll have to deal with okay what was that always to be expected a little bit and they didn't really leave me much slack here so not a perfect build but close enough as long as you know how to do a little bit of bike work rear is together no quick release on the seat probably better in the long run although I prefer to have one at least it doesn't take a giant wrench to get the job done got just rubber bands holding these guards back here on this freewheel we may leave those on that's working we can't leave this one on I assume because that will mean no shifting. Rear brake is also a little out of center. Let's see if it'll... There we go. Centered itself nicely. Alright. Pretty good. Nice small brake levers for little fingers. Very close. I'll put her other bell on the other side. That's about it. Pedals. All right, they're in this bag. Let's just set it down nicely here. Can I do that? Well, this is why I should have bought a kickstand, huh? All right, we'll just set it here with the cardboard on there sure we've got our right and left these are just yeah, a little greasy hard plastic that's fine with me they'll be a little lighter weight that way I've got plenty of old heavier metal pedals upstairs this one is the right not designed for use on any type of indoor exercise bicycle or equipment gotcha all right have a hex key inside they do that'll make it easier on me if I can get the hex key on them let's do that Actually, I don't think I have the big one down here the big one is upstairs and I doubt they gave me a big one this one I'm sure isn't as big as it needs no it is okay well I don't need to go upstairs I'll use theirs. Okay. Okay. Oops. All right. That pedal on. Tighten it up here. That's good. All right one crank down the other pedal on hello there we go pedal number two coming right through and tighten her down ready to go and there you have it so what was that three minutes of screwing around and it's ready to ride let's see how that front's done 
Yeah, very slight rub there. Pretty much gone now, and that's probably just tire tire hairs. Very nice. There you have it. Bind 24 by Isla Bikes for our almost seven-year-old. And oh yeah, that's that's not 20 pounds. About seven, about eight, seven, eight pounds lighter than the crummy department store Diamondback she's riding right now. I think it's worth it.